good Sunday morning, everybody. Welcome to the Annabelle Report. I'm Alan Harwell. Yes, we are getting back to normalcy here at ABC. A full schedule and a couple of oldies but goodies on the schedule this week. So let's get started. We have great news. Girls for God is back for the fall. They'll be meeting the last Sunday of every month at 4.30 in room A101. Girls for God is a ministry for girls third through sixth grade. They have a great time learning about Jesus and just hanging out together. If you have any questions or would like to help out, please contact Amy Helt. Her number is in the bulletin. We're so excited to have Awana back face to face. Awana is for kids ages two years through sixth grade. They'll be meeting upstairs in their classroom at 620 and please have them picked up by 730 in person in their classroom. If you have yet to register your child, you can email us at awana at anvil.com. And also, we're still looking for helpers. If you would like to help out, you can contact Justin Ronk. His number is in the bulletin. And save the date. We're having our annual trunk or treat right here in the church parking lot on Wednesday, October the 28th. Stay tuned for more details. We've missed our clubbers so much, and we can't wait to see them this Wednesday. Well, if you've ever been looking for a license to carry handgun class, we got you covered right here at Annabelle Baptist Church. We're going to offer that class right here on Saturday, October 17th, 8 in the morning to high noon in the gym. And there will be a range shooting to follow. The cost is $100. Everybody is welcome to sign up. So if you have any questions, please email Nicole at Annabelle.com or, of course, you can call the church office. Sisters of Christ is back Tuesday, November the 3rd at 6.30 right here in the gym. They'll be getting in the Christmas spirit and making a Christmas wreath. The cost is only $15 and you can sign up right here in the church hallway. Be sure to sign up by Wednesday, October the 30th and be sure to bring your favorite dish to share with others. Well, believe it or not, Christmas is right around the corner and it's time to fill those Christmas stockings. Benny Carrizales is going to join us now with the very latest. Benny, these are exciting times. Tell us all about it. Thank you, Alan. This year, we're going to be conducting our 18th annual Christmas stocking stuffer for children that are in orphanages and children that are in need. We don't need any stockings this year because we've been blessed with stockings already. We need hard candy, no chocolates, or candy that you can purchase after Halloween, marked down, and toys that'll fit in a stocking for both boys and girls. So we're going to be holding the stocking stuffer on November the 13th on a Friday at 6.30 in the evening. Please be praying how you can support this ministry. Thank you and God bless you. We have a special treat. Tonight at the 6 p.m. service, Sam Craig and his wife, who are friends of our church, will be here singing gospel music. It's going to be a very special service and we hope to see you there. Well, as you can see, it's going to be an extra busy week. Coming up at 4.30, we have Awana for both the middle schoolers and the high schoolers. Then tonight, of course, we have evening service, 6 o'clock here in the sanctuary. And while that's going on, we have Jam Preschool underway. That's for babies through pre-K. And we have Children's Choir for kinder through fifth grade, and that's going on in room C110. Hey, coming up on Tuesday, it's another edition of Young at Heart. This month, we've got an option to join us in person in the gym from 12 to 3, or you can come through the drive through from noon to 1 o'clock. Young at Heart meets on the second Tuesday of each month for anybody retired or over the age of 60. So come join us for a fun-filled afternoon of table games, fellowship, and of course, lunch will provide it. So uh, we look forward to seeing you here this Tuesday on October 13th. And of course, on Wednesday, Adult Bible Study meets here in the sanctuary at 6.30. And while that's going on, Awana it will be underway. And they're going to be meeting directly in their classrooms. And also at 6.30 on Wednesday, we have youth meeting in the gym. That, of course, is grades 6 through 12. Every Thursday, Celebrate Recovery meets in the gym starting at 6.30. It is a Christ-centered recovery program open for anyone with any kind of addiction or habit. Again, they meet every Thursday, 6.30, inside the gym. And of course, don't forget about who's your one. Be thinking about a neighbor or a family member or a coworker. You could call, check on them, see if they need anything, pray for them, and more importantly, share the gospel that you can make a huge difference. Well, that is a wrap for the Anvil Report. Thank you so much for watching. Love God, love others, and we'll see you next time.